Hey, what's up, guys? Walt Rivera here. We do this every single day. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Also, uh, um, don't forget you can uh, also be, be my fan on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And so we had a question from one of my students that said, what's the idea of this right here of the order of sharps and flats? So if you look over here, uh, you'll see right there that it says three, four. Over here to the left, you'll see that there's these five like sharp symbols, like these five, um, like, you know, like there's like these like five number symbols. Those are um, called sharps, and you also have the equivalent of those, which are called flats. They're the complete opposite. Um, but what they do is that they is that that's referred to as the key signature. And so what that does is it tells you the order of the sharps and flats. So that if I have five sharps here, I'm going to be following this order. See how it says F C G D A E B. Well, I would just take the five sharps right there. Uh, let's go back and zoom in. I would just take these five sharps, F C G D A. And that's telling me that the five sharps in this key are actually F sharp, C sharp, uh, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. If there were six sharps, the next one would be E sharp. And then the next one after that would be B sharp. And then what that's telling you is that these five sharps tells you that it's, that it's in the key of B. If there were two sharps, you would be in the key of D. If there were three sharps, you would be in the key of A. If there were four sharps, you would be in the key of E. And then, of course, we have five sharps, so we're in the key of B. Now, an easy way to remember that is fat crabs go down and eat bugs. And an easy way to remember the order of flats is bead glass cuts fine. So if I had five flats here, that's actually telling me that I'm in the key of D flat. And the five flats would be B, E, A, D, and G. So let's play this, and you'll see. Now right here, you'll see that this note here is an F. That's actually not an F natural, it's actually an F sharp, because back here in my order of sharps and flats, or in my key signature, I have the one sharp there, this is F, and this is telling me that the F is sharpened throughout the entire piece of music, not just for this measure. Uh, only when you would see a natural, if this were to be natural, right here, let, let, me, uh, let me bring this up. Uh, if this were to be natural, uh, I'll do it like this, and I'll push that button. So if this would be natural, and I had an F coming up next, and let's take that out. This here would be an F natural, and this here would be an F sharp. This here is actually a D, a D sharp. So it's not D and F, this is actually D sharp, F sharp. So there you have it, that's the order of sharps and flats. Any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, next video, we're, uh, we're going to discuss the idea of sopranos, alto, tenor, and bass, SATB. This is actually written for choir, but that's the order of the key signatures. Let me write, let me write that out, um, and then you'll be good to go. So here, key signatures, and there you have it. That's what they're called, key, key signatures. Now, you also have flats. So instead of a D sharp, you can also have an E flat, and they're the same note on the piano. Uh, let me grab my uh, piano right here, and here you have, there's a D sharp right here. And this can also be an in E flat, because sharp means to go up and flat means to go down. So we'll discuss more on the N harmonics and the SATB, but there you guys have it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. Check out the links in the video description. And also, uh, we'll see you back here tomorrow. We do this every single day. More at waltrebear.net. You can also check out my archives at waltrebear.net slash archive. All right, guys. Peace.